Welcome everyone. Today is going to be the chicken tractor repair day. I'm going to be turning in these mobile tractors that we use for our Cornish Cross to move around the yard as our permanent homes and by doing so I'm adding uh, some tie downs. I'm going to pressure wash the inside and then we had a real bad windstorm which I'll share some of the photos uh, and took, took apart some of this hardware cloth so I'm going to be repairing those. Then on the inside, I'd like to make some roosting uh, bars, kind of like a ladder set up at the very back, coming down for the chickens to rest on. And then also, I'm gonna make a few brooding boxes, a little stand to get these up off the ground and to be able to set these in there as well for the chickens and probably cut the front open to allow access in there, but have a couple of these in there for the chickens that uh, lay, lay the eggs as well. So, just finished the chicken run itself. Again, it was about 200 feet. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll put the link below. Yeah, 200 foot perimeter. Uh, pretty good space for them. Not sure how many we're going to get just yet, but just finished that. It was, I can't remember, six to eight hours worth of work. Uh, it was all manual labor. I didn't have a stretcher or anything, uh, the, the fence stretcher, but it really, it wasn't bad. Uh, if I had the money, I'd love to do the whole yard in T-posts and welded wire fencing. It's it's very nice. I like it. But yeah, I'm going to work on these. Hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for stopping by and God bless.
perfect, but I think it'll work. We are going to cut, probably, with a jigsaw, this section out. This way the chicken can get it good. I don't know if I want to venture into this side, but we'll cut that out. We've got four nesting boxes in each permanent tractor, and we also got our roosting post completed for both of them. So all we really lack is to pressure wash it clean and get a tarp over it and I guess get chickens in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the uh, milk crates now, do the opening with the jigsaw. And then I torch the edges just to right to the point of melting to where it's nice and smooth so it doesn't cut the chickens. everyone i hope you enjoyed that video hope you like the transformation we'll give you updates here and there when um, we actually get the chickens and see how they enjoy their uh, coops we will probably put pine shavings down for the floor maybe sand around the edges to help with the the water and rain issue um, but it's trial and error we'll see how it works if you have any other questions leave them below and also I'll add a few more pictures at the end of this uh, video. Thanks for stopping by.